Hey guys, welcome to Learn Electronics. Today we discuss about simulation of lighting impulse residual voltage test of such arresters in MATLAB and singling. First, we introduce our topic. Metal oxide such arresters are used to protect medium and high voltage systems and insulation of equipment against over voltage. Such arresters are often subjected to high voltage stress due to the high earth resistance of the grid grounding system. Ceiling defects and the resonance switchings, lightning of over voltage, repeat transient of long duration and large magnitude. So first we discuss about the circuit model. We use here the IEEE model which consists of two inductors. We use the two inductors or five linear elements that is L O R O L1 R1 capacitor C and two such arrestor that is A0 and A1. Now we uh, model in MATLAB and Simlink and check what uh, VI characteristics of such this. Now we model our project. So in MATLAB, first we need a uh, Simlink. So we just click Simlink and wait for after the clicking on the Simlink, there is a Simlink startup page pop up. So we want a blank model. We just click on the blank model. Now we want a library, just click on the library. Uh, here we have the library. So one by one we pick all the components or, or the blocks. So go to Simscape, Simscape Electrical. We want the switches and uh, it specialized power systems and we want a fundamental blocks to source we want a control it voltage control a current source so just wrap and drop wait what are doing for it go to the elements So one by one fix all the element for this. I want the RL branch, not RLC. So double click on the RLC branch and wait. We have a block parameter. Now I want a parallel to the other source. So just parallel RLC branch. Or you can take just series RLC branch. I prefer to series RLC branch for it. And just same double click on it. We also adjust for rotating. We just use a control R. We also want a such arrestor, so we just go and we have such arrestor. And wait for it, and also control R for rotation. One by one, I pick all the components. I finally draw my. Yeah, I'll show you. This is my final set. I also use the power grid block. How do we use the system? Here we use a step input. Why is we use a step input? So just we discuss in what is our test case. Here our test case is a residual voltage obtained with the initial model parameter to in such as a model again by 820 US current meaning of current 8 by 20 current impulse. It is nothing but the <coughs> the signal is the highest value at 8 second or 8 microsecond and these are 20 or the half of the, the current impulse by 20 microseconds. So this is our tech case. Also parameter which we discuss about wait for it.
discuss our parameters. The parameters is RO is equals to 18.3 uh, 18 ohms, R1 is 11.89 ohms, L0 is 0 0.51 milliamps, millihenry, L1 is a 1.52 millihenry, C is a 974.62 picofarad. So we just give the parameters to our model. I have already given that, I show you. Just double click on it. R is equal to 18.30 ohms. L, which is a Henry. We want a milli. Now, this is our model and the parameters. So, first we check our uh, R, R, O, and L0, which is just capacitor. Picofarad, but picofarad. So give the parameters to our R1 and N1. Here with the search arrestor. We have the two search arrestors with a uh, protection voltage 15,000 and 5,000. You just have a doubt why? Because what is our test case? Just see what our the test case. The residual voltage of the emitters of 15 kilo. That is a kilo. Volt is generated voltage. Now we have that two measurement instruments, this is a series and the parallels. So now run model, just click on the run model and wait for it. Just click on the run model. And you see that we whether there are any one in our system. So wait for it. And finally complete. And we wait for it. Results. Results we just check the double scale. We just see there is a slightly increase into the current. Do you see that there is a increase the step because we give the step input to the and this is for the 